It is Friday, March 15th, 2019, 11.13 a.m. Done school, I got home about an hour and 15 minutes ago. I guess just over, about two hours ago, actually. Um, the, um, yeah, like the first half of class was just her doing like the last lesson and then we did the presentations or the elevator pitch and then I got to go home. Um, got home, I wanted to buy SummerSlam tickets because uh, uh, they're coming in August, but the, um, Ticketmaster was awful, and when public sale went available, there was only single seating left, so that was annoying. So fortunately, I was on the phone with Matt while it was happening, otherwise I would have been stressing out. Uh, he found some good tickets in the StubHub, good tickets. Um, but yeah, so 228 bucks I think, after all the fees uh, for Section 300, so that would be cool. And then we just going to get Raw and SmackDown, um, which I'll be in charge of uh, Raw. Because so I was supposed to get SummerSlam, but uh, yeah, he, he had some time available, so he popped on check stuff out. But, so there's that, um, we're going to that, which is cool. Speaking of things I'm going to, um, Slipknot, Bring Me the Horizon, I think I already mentioned, uh, Slipknot also, uh, touring with Volbeat, Gojira, which I've never seen before, and Behemoth, which will be the second time I've seen them, uh, just by accident. So they, so, Trivium's the other band I've seen more than once, and then Slipknot will now be the band, second band I've seen more than once, um, and Behemoth by accident, just having opened up for Slayer last year, and now... This year, so we slip that. So that's cool. I'm excited about that. Um, I got Jerry Seinfeld coming up in May as well, which I'm super happy about. Um, but yeah, and then also, side note about Slipknot. So yesterday it came out that Chris is suing the band. Um, I guess because there's something to do with money. I don't really completely, uh, completely understand it, but my understanding is that uh, Corey and Clown had some separate accounts where merch. Hold on, that's good about. What? Oh, they did play today. I forgot the least bit of it. I thought they would play tomorrow. Um, um, yeah, so Corey and Clown, I guess, had some other accounts where money was funneling in for merch or something like that, and Chris wasn't getting any of it, so he's suing the band. Um, yeah, I don't know. Some people are saying that it might just be like a legality where like, he's, no one's really mad at each other, he just needs the money, so like they can't actually give it to him, so he has to sue them and like, go through a legal th thing. So everything's cool. Um, however, some people are saying that this could be break up, break up the band, which I don't know. Like, I don't know, man. I'm just, for a band this big, for a band that is, like, one of my favorites, it really sucks that this could be the thing that ends them. Like, I thought Paul dying was going to end them. It didn't. I thought Joey getting kicked out was going to end them. It didn't. And now, I don't know. If a third member leaves or gets kicked out, I mean, is it, yes, obviously more than half the band is still the original members, but, like, it's just, I'd, I'd rather them not do that, especially me going to see them. I'd love to see them with with the seven original members plus the two extras. But we'll see. Um, that's just the thing that's going on, and it's just, uh, we'll see. Like I said, it came out yesterday. Uh, we'll see how that progresses, but the show's in uh, the summer, so plenty of time to get that figured out and potentially cancel the whole show, so, um, yeah. But <clears throat> what else is there? Um, speaking of Leafs earlier, um, there is like 11 or 12 games left in the season. They are currently third in the Atlantic, something like top five or something in the league. Um, Boston's ahead of them. And they've been playing, so this season, like, has been so frustrating. Because I saw it right from the start, but I was like, maybe it'll get better. It didn't. Slow starts, they just kept starting slow, kept starting slow. They play the first period bad, and then start, start playing later on. They've just, for the team that added John Tavares, and like, that should be better than, they should be better than they are. And like, yes. Top of the league, cool, but their play isn't, you can, just on the eye test, it's not good. So it's just been really frustrating watching them. And the last couple of games have been awful. Uh, they played on Wednesday, they played, um, someone, don't remember who, don't care. Uh, Chicago, Chicago, that's who it was. They were, they went down 4 nothing in the first, and then it was a 5 nothing at some point, and then they battled back to make it 5-4, but still. Like, unacceptable performance. Monday they played Tampa, who is just far and beyond the best team in the league. Um... They have like a 20% chance to win the cup, I think, um, which is unreal. They lost Tampa 6-1 or 6-2 or something like that, um, despite the fact that the other two meetings we've had, we've had with them this season were actually really close games, really good games. Um, before that, there was, I mean, multiple, multiple times this season, they, we, we've just come out and sucked. And so many times this season, you've heard, oh, we got to play for each other, you know, we have to start on time. Like, well, then do it! You've been saying this since, like, December. Or earlier, even. Just do it, please. The playoffs are starting. Please stop playing like this. 
it's just frustrating. Frustrating. So hopefully they figure that out. Um, they play Philly today, Ottawa tomorrow. Um, given the fact that they've just been absolutely embarrassed on home ice the last two games, if they they so the third period against Chicago was hands down seeming part of the second. I watched part of the second and then I turned it off. But the, like I came back for the third period and oh my, they were flying. They were they were so dominant, so good. That is the team that you should be seeing every single night, and it's not. Um, so hopefully that starts happening because Jesus Christ, they need to start playing better. But um, yeah, so right now, like I said, the standings, uh, they're behind Boston, which is so annoying because literally Boston went on a 19 game point streak. They didn't lose in regulation for, since like January and they finally started losing. And so basically with all that point streak happening, at least we're still like four or five points behind them. They start finally losing. They're like a three game lose streak now. Leafs haven't won. They've been getting blown out. We should be contending for home ice advantage here, and yet we still can't get ahead of Boston. It's pretty much confirmed we're playing Boston, unless by the hand of God, like Montreal goes on a hot tear, Tampa starts losing, Boston and Toronto start losing. Like it's confirmed, Boston Toronto first round again, just like last year. But my, like it's just, we should be getting home ice advantage. Uh, I think Boston plays tomorrow. Toronto again plays two games in a row. So, I mean, if we were to win today and tomorrow, and Boston lost tomorrow, we would be tied with them in points but I think we'd get we have more uh road overtime wins something like that I think that's how it works so we would go ahead in the standings I just want to hold my oh, it's just annoying but either way um my prediction still stands I've been saying it's like 2013 uh Toronto is going to at, l at least the semifinals this year might make it a cup final I don't know but their play I mean, it's kind of sketch but I've been saying it so I mean I still believe it they're going to beat Boston in the first round, Tampa in the second round. I don't know in the semis uh, they're going to face, but if they beat them, they'll be cool. Uh, then this whole playoff run is going to um, just bolster their confidence, give them so much experience and knowledge, and next year they're going to tear, win the cup, uh, and that's that. That's just how it's going to happen. That's how I've said it's going to happen for the multiple years. So that's what's going on there. Um, what, else did I, what else has been happening? Um, I cleaned my PC. Um, I did a nice full tear down and clean uh, every three months, so I did that. Um, it's a little dirtier than usual, so that was nice to get that. I need to buy some more air, compressed air, so I can uh, clean it next time in June uh, with air. Uh, the one I have now is running, running low because, like, the nozzle's broken, so I, I can't put, like, a stick in there or, like, the little plastic tube. I have to, like, spray from the can, so there's that. Um, I beat Darksiders last week. Uh, that's the game I was working on. Uh, it took me a couple weekends, so, like, 16 hours total of game time, um, but the campaign says I take 12 hours. I don't know where the other four hours went. Um, awful game, didn't like it, voiceovers were absolutely atrocious, um, the person that you, like, the, the companion that you have is Mark Hamill, and he does the exact same voice as he did for Joker and Batman, and I was like, really, you can be more original, uh, the main guy, War, that you play, um, he always is pissed off, he's like a 13-year-old that's always pissed off, like, no matter what the situation is, he's always talking like he's pissed off, it was just so annoying, gameplay wasn't anything special, so... That was done. I started working on Return to Castle Wolfenstein, which I'm not really liking that much. I have a couple hours in, and I think it's like an eight-hour game. Um, it uh, it plays a lot like GoldenEye. It um, plays better than GoldenEye, but like the mechanics and kind of like the way enemies work and levels work, stuff like that, reminds me a lot of GoldenEye. Uh, so working on that. Might beat that this weekend. Then after that, uh, I think I'm playing Sleeping Dogs. It's already installed, so kind of get through that. Um, what else is there? Uh, layoff time period? Yeah, so... I, so basically, this time last year is when I started getting laid off. We'll see. Easy. <laughs> okay. That was embarrassing. Um. So this time last year is when I started. It was when I got laid off. And like I started not like I, I was officially at this point last year. I was out of a job. So I've been thinking like lately. I've been thinking like okay. So basically, from now until the end, until I'm done school, is pretty much or until I start my internship. Pretty much is the is the time. Um, the same time as last year. So that time from like so last year when I was laid off, that time was sometimes quick, sometimes slow, but it, it was 10 months or whatever it was that I was off. And now, now I have until now until something like September or October, which is pretty much the same timeline. And it's like, okay, the same amount of time that I had last year for layoff and the same amount of time I've left for school and then an internship. Um, so I'm kind of just thinking in terms of time wise, like it's going to go quick, but it's going to go slow, but it's going to go quick. So, um, that's, I don't know, there's something I was thinking about, something I wanted to mention. Um, not much more to say about that. And then the last thing, I didn't think I get to it this this video, which I might as well talk about it now, is weed. Um, so it's supposed to 
become legal to sell in stores next month. I may or may not get some, but basically, when I smoked weed in December or whatever it was, for whatever reason, ever since then, I haven't had a craving for it. Like before that, I, like, I would think about weed and I would get a crave, like I'd randomly get a craving, or if I think about weed, I'd eventually get a craving from just thinking, craving from just thinking about it. I'm just talking really fast. Um, but ever since then, I haven't really had that craving, um, and which is weird because I didn't get high. Um, nothing happened when I smoked it. And it was, um, it's strange. It's almost as if like I'm totally at peace and I was never doing it again. Um, I would, even as I was about to say, I'm, 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 I want to still try it to see like for medical purposes, but like just saying that it's like, do I really want to? Like it didn't, like, I don't need, like part of me, part of me right now is thinking that the reason I did smoke is because I had that strong, strong, uh, inclination to, to try it. Um, but I haven't felt that and I haven't. Like when I think about it right now, like do like will weed help me? It's like I don't know. I think I think I think the reason I smoked in December was because I just was so addicted to it that all these years later I needed to smoke it, which is weird. I mean, weed could still help with any sort of anxiety or depression I have, but like I don't know if it will or not. So I don't know. I I was just thinking about that. Like I haven't had at all. Like I haven't thought about weed. I haven't like when I think about weed, I'm like I don't care. I don't want to really smoke it. Like whereas before, I was like yeah, I'd I'd smoke it again. Whereas now, like I don't care if I smoke it or not. So. Strange kind of uh, change of events there. Um, and if I did smoke it again, I would definitely not do the blunt because that was disgusting. Like when I smoked it, like the 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 t the thing that you put in your mouth, like it got all brown and shit, obviously because of the smoke. Oh, it was so fucking gross. Um, so, yeah. I'd probably get a pipe. Small to conceal and stuff. So, that's it, I think. Yeah, so now I'm gonna go do my workout. I'm so dreading this. Oh my god! Like it's a ten, it, today's a ten minute workout. I'm dreading it. I'm literally angry that I have to do it. It's so awful. This workout, so awful. So it's full awful. Um, so I'm gonna do that, and then I have the rest of the day off. It'll be about mid uh, midnight. It'll be about noon when I do that, uh, and then I have about thirteen hours to just chill and do whatever. Cause I go, I'll go to bed around one, and then yeah, my I'm pretty much caught up with all the podcasts and all my music and stuff. Um, Halo Master Chief Collection was announced for PC, uh, coming out at some point this year. That's pretty exciting. Um, and then, yeah, so I'm gonna watch whatever I'm not caught. I know there's a Bill Burr podcast I have to catch up on, and maybe a couple of other YouTube videos. I know that I've been watching a Joe Rogan podcast, so after there's like 30 minutes left of that. Um, so there's that. And then after that, just watch some Fear the Walking Dead, and then play some uh, Wolfenstein. So leave it at that, and I'm gonna go do this god awful thing. See ya.